matters. Delhi does matter because Delhi represents the multitude. It is vibrant and pulsating and it is diverse and it is steaming. It matters for many reasons, not just because it is a capital city, a citadel of power and influence, but a city that many in India and outside keep on their radar. It has a rich history, sometimes turbulent, often violent, but a diversity that draws on the intermingling of cultures, peoples, ideas, and efflorescence of artistic exp expression, dance, theater. And Delhi roads, in a sense, are a metaphor for India's steaming diversity, where the bullock cart, the bicycle, the auto rickshaw, and the Mercedes Benz are jostling for space on the firmament of India's democracy. It has a large number of educational institutions and art theater. It has migrants, itinerants, people with dreams, people with mansions, people without homes, displaced people, people on the move, people on the run. So it is, as Malvika Singh says, a perpetual city, the perpetual city. And your offer today is police, colon, security, crime, and women's safety. And we've been told very strictly by Shailaja, and nobody dare disobey her, that it's not only about women. It's, all, it's about all other kinds of crime in the city. And to help us delve deeper with empathy, critique, and understanding, we have three outstanding citizens of Delhi who are not just thinkers, but doers, uh, thinkers who do, who are in their respective spheres pushing the envelope on what it means to realize your rights, in a large metropolis where privation, exclusion, and pain are often invisibilized, and what it means to live secure lives as freedom from want and freedom from fear. So we always have to come with increased surveillance. And also, this paternalism and protectionism for women, which says, you know, don't dress this way, don't walk in the night, don't do this, and don't. Uh, does that, is, is, is there a cost there? Is there a cost? Do we give no. up some freedoms in order to be safe and no. protected? No, and you this don't is have to the to. Two, two women on the panel, uh, because in terms of uh, the perception of, of, of a right to freedom, of access to safe spaces, uh, does that always have to come yeah. with some kind of surveillance shed in the history of this city in, in terms of the horror and revulsion it evoked, but also in terms of the resistance and mobilization across fault lines of class, caste, gender, and so on and so forth. Uh, it, and it changed the texture of civic engagement in this city. Would you like to comment, both of you, on that? Also, what are some of the innovative things that civil society is doing, women's groups are doing, education spaces are doing, and also this kind of unique partnership that you have, civil society, police, and education. How can that be forged to sort of, uh, sort of address the issue uh, to change this city and the, the, you know, the problems with crime in this, uh, self-defense and so on. Then there's the Azad Foundation that actually trains women who have been battered by domestic violence to, to kind of regain their self-confidence and become uh, chauffeurs, and, and especially to airports and so on, which are considered the, 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 the most unsafe places to go. So it's a kind of a counter sort of narrative to this of fear and compromise. Finally, to the audience, we'd like to ask this question, and maybe you might wish to respond. The, De the Delhi police had talked a great deal about women police stations, especially after Nirbhaya. Uh, you know, there are, they are womaned by women, not manned by women. Now, in that, has there been a masculinization of women's police stations? After all, they wear the same uniforms, they use the same language. Uh, has there been a change in the culture of the police station because women inhabit it? If not, what can we do? Are we, are we talking about a different discourse and a different narrative, or are we just it's just adding women and stirring and saying, now we have made this gender sensitive.